Neonatal care, nutrition management of jaundice in neonates. Neonatal jaundice is a condition characterized by body yellowing due to elevated serum bilirubin levels. Old red blood cells break down, releasing bilirubin, which is yellow in pigmentation. The onset is generally within the first week of infant's life and it generally affects both normal birth weight and low birth weight infants. Low birth weight and preterm babies are at a higher risk of jaundice compared to normal birth weight term babies. If unchecked, jaundice can induce neurological dysfunction on the neonate. Suboptimal intake jaundice is a type of jaundice that results from inadequate breast milk intake and generally occurs in the first week of life. Another type of jaundice is breast milk jaundice which results from substances in mother's milk that interfere with the ability of the liver to metabolize bilirubin. It starts from the second and later weeks after birth. The signs and symptoms of neonatal jaundice include yellow skin, eyes, palms, and feet, dark yellow pee, jaundice complications such as seizures, cerebral palsy, and brain damage, total serum bilirubin levels greater than 5 mg per deciliter. The risk factors to neonatal jaundice include inadequate breastfeeding. Suboptimal feeding leads to increased absorption of bilirubin in the body and also contributes to delayed passage of meconium, hence jaundice. Galactosemia. High levels of lactose circulation can lead to acute bilirubin encephalopathy. Galactosemia occurs when the infant cannot metabolize galactose in breast milk, cow's milk and other sources. Increased rate of production of bilirubin. This is due to the short lifespan and higher concentration of red blood cells. Delayed meconium. This increases absorption of bilirubin in the intestines. Low rate of bilirubin metabolism. The infant's liver is not yet mature enough to optimally metabolize bilirubin. Neonatal sepsis. This interferes with the infant's ability to process bilirubin in the liver. Nutritional management of neonatal jaundice. Continue with exclusive breastfeeding. Ensure that the infant is receiving adequate breast milk and do not substitute breast milk for any other feeds. In case of suboptimal breast milk neonatal jaundice, increase breastfeeding frequency and breast time during lactation and continue with breastfeeding for breast milk induced jaundice. Neonates love to sleep and they can sleep all day. Work them to breastfeed. Ensure adequate maternal nutrition to lower the risk to both preterm and low birth weight babies and consequently reduce the risk of preterm and low birth weight infant neonatal jaundice. For children with no prospect of exclusive breastfeeding, identify safer alternatives to breastfeeding and ensure the infant gets adequate. In the first week of life, physical examination should be done on the infant every 8 to 12 hours for any signs of jaundice. Serious jaundice is treated through phototherapy whereby the infant is placed under fluorescent light. Phototherapy breaks down unconjugated bilirubin into more soluble forms that are then excreted with urine and feces. Though controversial, some studies have shown a decrease in bilirubin levels with sun basking. Caution is necessary to protect the infant from sunburn. Sun basking is said to be effective with the infant fully undressed. Generally, sun basking is not recommended for treatment of jaundice. Exchange transfusion. Infant's blood is replaced with healthy blood. Usually, drugs are not used in treatment of neonatal jaundice.
Youngest infants with signs of dehydration should be rehydrated intravenously. Additionally, intravenous hydration reduces the need for exchange transfusion.